All right. Shalom. I want to start off with giving our praise our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, and Kakadash. The one who said, Elders and Apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the whole flag. I hope this video will be edifying, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, topic that I that I want to be talking about today is um, how the how the people in the church, right? The people that go to the church every week or every two times in the week, three times in the week, they they give tithes, they give money, right, to the pastor, but the pastor isn't 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 putting that to good use, and actually. It's kind of it's kind of vexing to think like these people are basically making a mockery out of this out of out of the Bible man out of this truth, you know, making a mockery. Uh, it's basically bad blasphemy, man. You know, adding on to the scriptures, you know, telling females to 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 loosen their panties to 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 get blessings and stuff like that. You know, it's it, it's madness actually, man. But Anyway, this is what they're doing, man. This this is what this is what they've been doing for quite a long time. You know, this Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. Give to the godly man and help not the sinner. So give it to someone that's that's in this shoot, you know, doing the will of Yahbashim Yashai. You know, going on the highways and byways, doing doing the work, you know, in truth and in sincerity. You know, verse 5, do well unto him that is lowly, right? If, for example, the, 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 the man of the Lord that are on the streets right now, man, you know, prophesying week in and week out, you know, you don't see them in fancy, fancy gar garments, you know, all gold, gold all over the garments, gold, gold, uh, wearing all gold, you know, <laughs> Having golden bracelets, uh, a, a, a chest piece, you know. They don't have that new plane that G, G, uh, G name Jenkins, uh, something like that, his name. Gino Jen Jennings, Creflo Dollar, you know. Having that private jet. You don't see the man of the Lord. The real man of the Lord don't have that right now, man. Because they aren't in rulership right now, you know. They aren't in rulership right now. You know, when you when you when you do the will uh, the will of Yahweh Shem you gon you gon go you you gon be in a lower lower estate, man. You gon be put in a lower estate. You know, you ain't gonna be like these worldly people that that have a have a perfect life, man. You know, you ain't gonna be like that, man. So if the scriptures already talk, if the scriptures already say that. Then how can these people, these pastors, these deacons that are in the churches, how 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 are they even there? That's why you can see that these people don't be reading the scriptures, man. They just listen. Hey, these people take one scripture, then talk for two hours long, then sing, you know, like a theater club, you know. But I don't want to make it too much about them. But they, they, hey, this is what they're doing, man. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Why? Why shouldn't you give to, to the ungodly? Why shouldn't you give to these pastors? Why shouldn't you give to these deacons? Well, let's read it. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. So don't give it, man. Go, don't give your money unto, uh, unto them. Don't, don't give them drinks. Don't, don't, don't do that. You know why? Watch. Let's see over master thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou shalt have done unto him. You see? You, you, hey, you have tons of examples where dudes go to the church, right, with their wife. You know, they give the pastor money, give them, give them tithes, give them drinks, make food for the whole congregation, you know. Next thing you know, the pastor is, is in bed with his wife, man. Hey, that's a per hey, you see how it is, man? It, it it's madness, man. You know? It's madness. These these people don't these people are not suffering. These people are not going through shit, man. You know? They aren't going through shit, man. 
They, they, hey, man, hey. So this is First Peter three and seventeen. For it is better if the will of Yahweh Shem Yashai be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. You see, when you're in this truth, hey, tons of stuff will happen to you, man. You're trying to do good, tons of stuff gonna happen to you. You know, it's not like these worldly people they do evil and then nothing happens. Uh, well, let me not say nothing happens to them, but it takes a long time before something gonna happen to them. And it's going to be like, hey, like uh, the scriptures say, uh, what, uh, what, what was it again? Let me, let me actually look it up. You know, it was in envy not, the, envy not the oppressor, envy not the glory of a sinner, you know, roughly paraphrasing those scriptures. Because it is true, man, you, it, it going to feel like, it, it's going to feel like they ain't, go, uh, um, they ain't getting that judgment, man, for, for, for uh, doing evil, you know? But they will get that judgment in due time. You know, all these pastors, these deacons that are doing all kind of wickedness in the churches, you know. Uh, hey, they they all going to get that judgment, man. And it and it's and it's faxing, you know, it's faxing because here here it is. You trying to do good. You trying to do the will of your Bashim Rashai. And you go through 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 tough times because of it, man. But these people that that. Making a mockery out of the Most High Yabashi Mashai. Their punishment is is uh, being delayed. Well, not let me not say delayed. Delayed is not a good word. Their punishment will come, but their punishment takes a, a long time before it comes, man. But when it comes, that's that's the that's the that's the point. When it comes, that's the point. You know, when it comes, it it go. Hey, man, you 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 don't you don't want to be them. You know, you don't want to be them. That's the point. Because, hey, man, <laughs> Jacob's trouble, you know, judgment must begin in the, uh, at the house of Israel, man. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture also, you know. They, hey, they, they going to get that, they, they going to get that judgment, man, you know. But sometimes you're in the flesh, hey, you know. It's going to affect you. you. You're going to start thinking. But then, hey, perfect time to read the scriptures. You know, perfect time to read the scriptures to, to cleanse yourself, man. Cleanse yourself out of that, out of that mindset again. Out of that, out of that emotion again, you know. Thinking, thinking better again, you know. Thinking twice, you know. Because when you read the scriptures, now you're going to think more than twice you're gonna think four times before you before you uh, uh before you act man because that's what the scriptures does the, the the scriptures keep you it keeps you sane you know it keeps you sane i should have had more scriptures man <laughs> but hey it's the spirit man i didn't even want to talk about that but hey it's the spirit man so this is first Peter's four and nineteen. Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of Yahbashim Shai commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing, as unto a faithful creator. Why? Why should you do that? Why should you do that? Well, let's let's keep on reading, man. Let's keep on reading because the Ben A, the, the reward for what you do for what you are doing right now, what you're gonna get for it? Hmm. Man, let's see it, man. This wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 5. And having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded for Yahweh Shemashai proved them and found them worthy for himself. You see? So, first, go through tough times. Yaratazah. You make it to you gonna make it to the end. You are gonna be greatly rewarded for it. You know, spiritual power, land. You know, because you've been proven. You've been going. You 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 went through that fire. You know, the scriptures talk about that. You know, going 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 into the furnace of adversity. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Also, I shouldn't be paraphrasing the, these scriptures, man. I should have. I should be getting them scriptures out, man. So lucky for that. So anyway, for Yahweh Shemashai proved them and found them worthy for himself 
as gold in the furnace had he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. You see? What happens when you put gold in a furnace? It's gonna be a it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful, man. You know? It's gonna be beautiful. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. You see? So, hey, Yardasa, we make it to the end. We, hey, spiritual power is coming, man. You know? The scriptures talk about no more, no more sorrow. Let me get that scripture. Come on, so this is Revelation 21 and 4. And Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You see? Hey, in the kingdom, it's going to be beautiful, man. It ain't, it ain't going to be no more uh, uh, going through hell, you know? These heathens going to go through hell because we're going to execute judgment upon them, man. You know, the scriptures talk about, let me get that also, you know, <laughs> let me get that also. Let me get that, man. So this is Psalms 149, and let's start at verse 4. For Yahweh Shem Hashem take pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Shemashai be in their mouth. Kaala Yahweh Shemashai. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Why? Why? Let's read it. Verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishment upon the people. To bind their kings. <coughs> Salakia. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles. With feathers of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai. You see, that's what's gonna happen, man. We're gonna we gonna execute judgment upon them, man. We're gonna sing, we're gonna sing out of joy, we're gonna sing on our beds out of joy, man. Praise Yahweh Shem Yashai for finally. Finally, being rewarded and praised out by Shem Yashai for, for, for creating us, man. For, for making the world for, for, for our sakes, for the, for the Israelites, man. You know? Because the world was created for our sakes. Now, let me read verse 6 again. As gold in the furnace had he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks of, among the stubble. You see? Spiritual power, man. Spiritual power right there. You know? They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the, over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. Yahushai. You know? Verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he had care for his elect but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteous and forsaken you see a lot of jakes gonna be dying you know, because they don't want to hear Yabashim Yashai. They don't want to listen to Yabashim Yashai. That's Prophet 1. You know, the elect that, that was listening to Yabashim Yashai is going to get greatly rewarded, man. Greatly rewarded. Uh, uh, having a high rank, you know. Re uh, 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 being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, you know. And ruling to ruling together with Yahweh Shai, man. So this is uh, Daniel 12 and uh, 3, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. So, hey, if you, you know, the scriptures talk about the spirit, uh, the, the 
uh, let me actually get it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm go back to Daniel 12 and 3, and then I'm gonna go to Wisdom of Solomon. No, it's like uh, First Corinthians. Now, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. You know, if you a if you if you've been getting people into this truth, like the eldest apostles, you know, like El, elder elder Abba Biffin, you know, King Masha, you know, if you've been uh, 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 bringing people to this truth, you know. Elder, Elder Apostle Tahad, Elder Apostle Raka, you know, Elder Apostle Ramlap, you know, you know, if you've been, if you've been getting, getting uh, people in the street, you know, you, you, you teach, teach people, you know, people learn, people uh, turn back to Yahweh Shem Yashai, you know. If you've been doing that, hey, you're going to shine as the star forever and ever. And let me not forget, let me not forget, you know, Khan. And let me not forget Elder Apostle Gabar also, man. You know? Elder Apostle Gabar also. Now, where was I again? So like, I, I got interrupted. So, uh, yeah, man. These people that been 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 getting people into into this truth, you know, turning many to righteousness. Let me actually get that scripture also. You know, oh matter of fact, I I already read it. Let, let me read it again. First, first, first three. This is Daniel twelve and three. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. You see, they are gonna shine, man. And the scriptures talk about, hey, the scriptures talk about 1 Corinthians 4 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. You see, so, hey, you, you, for, for you, for you, uh, brothers out there that feeling uh, a bit low or you dealing with uh, demons that, that make you insecure, you know, you ain't doing enough, you, 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 you. You're not good enough and stuff like that. Think about it, man. Think about it. You don't know who you was in your past life. You know, I'm not saying like, hey, you, you, you were some great man in the past life. But even if you was just an, uh, uh, a, 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 a prophet, just, just a prophet, you know, you prophesy, you know, you, you, you've turned people to righteousness in, in your past life. The scriptures, A, hey, B, let, let me read it again, man. What's going to happen to you for doing that, you know? How much more the the, the apostles of, of the, back in the days, man, you know? The, 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 the apostles that was with, well, the, the disciples that later became apostles that was with Yao Shai, man, you know? Let me read it again. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. You gonna shine, man. You gonna shine. It's not like these celebrities that that uh, got their glory right now, man. Nah, it's far, you cannot compare it. It's far be it's far beyond that, man. You gonna be on a superhero status under Yahweh Shai, man. Obviously, Yahushai is going to get all the glory, man. He's going to get most of the glory. Yahweh, Yahweh, by Yahweh, by Shem Yahshai, Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh, he made his son to, 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 to be glorified, man. You know? And when he comes back, when Yahushai comes back, we're going to glorify Yahushai. You know? We're going to glorify Yahushai. That's why we say, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai in the name of in the name of the Son. Why? Why is that? Because the Most High Yahweh set set his son up, Yahweh Shai, to die on the cross for the nation of Israel. So we might get so we have self so the elect has has salvation, man. At the end of the day, that's it, man. 
you know, because without Yahweh Shai, hey, without Yahweh Shai, we we couldn't have turned back to 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 the Most High Yahweh, man. And that's it, you know. I hope this video was edifying. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimon Shai, by Shimon Kakodash. I hope this video was edifying. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole elect, and shalom.